I like to get like a couple action shots. So the lighting's coming from there. So maybe like an action shot like that. And then maybe even a fire shot as well. That brings us over to our next segment, guys. We're going to be going over creator tips. We're going to be running it through what you guys need to be a YouTuber. How to make a thumbnail. Uh, I don't make my thumbnails anymore. I actually have designers uh, because a lot of the current Fortnite meta is using Cinema 4D and other render studio Blender and stuff like that to create scenes within Fortnite that you can try to do within replay mode, but it's not easy. Um, and I'll show you guys how to do like replay mode-esque thumbnails. Hey, whip out the old green screen and creative. Uh, yeah, that's it, that's it though. All right, so we're showing you guys what we mean with like using replay mode to try and make thumbnails because this is the entry level stuff. I think I have our OG studio. Oh, you do? Uh, I, I, uh, about a year ago, I used this every day for making thumbnails. <laughs> so this is, I, I wouldn't say this is outdated by any means. So let's say Boomer, I'm vibing out, I'm making content. And then next thing I know, grenade launchers have been unvaulted. I hop on. I make a grenade launcher video, all right? I'm done that video, I'm rendering, I'm now making a thumbnail. I jump into Boomer Studio, I pick up this grenade launcher. You might wanna get like a cool weapon wrap, you might wanna disable weapon wraps. That's, that's something you gotta think about. Hop through in the studio, what I like to do is I like to get like a couple action shots, so the lighting's coming from there, so maybe like an action shot like that. Aimed in, just like nice action. Maybe even a running shot as well, just to like have some different types of shots. And then like this, and then maybe even a fire shot as well. Just like get some different type of shots, maybe a crouch shot. All right. Relo a reload shot as well is always great. Reload shots actually look sometimes really sick on replay. Say, those are my favorite shots. Yeah, yeah. replay shots. The game's shots. actually animated so well that that makes a picture for you. <laughs> yeah, literally though. So now we're, we're done that, we leave, we leave the studio. We go into uh, replay mode. Now, one thing you kind of do need to do with these is you need to put your settings on the maximum, at least medium for the shadows. Um, and there is a good place in the lighting where you want to stand. I actually missed it, which is quite unfortunate because it didn't have shadows on. See that the bits of light? That's where you want to stand. It's like and, right and, there. and to be clear with those bits of lights, you don't necessarily need all those lights, but it kind of gives it like a, uh, a render-esque look. So yeah. it looks like you took a 3D render, but really it's just in the game. So I just took a <laughs> screenshot of that, guys. It's like, it's a pretty good screenshot right there. Probably want to go for something like that even. You want to make sure your camera's like all in. Slow it down a little bit. So there we go. That's one half of your thumbnail done. So now I'm in Photoshop, guys. I've pasted in my uh, shot that I've taken. Again, it, this isn't the perfect lighting. We missed the, the perfect light ring just by a little bit. <laughs> this isn't the most effective way of doing it, but it's the easiest way to do it. And it's what I do. Uh, so you pretty much should use the magic, ton, magic wand and just put the tolerance up or down and just take out the bits of the green screen. Uh, I use a green skin, so I have to make sure the tolerance isn't too uh, similar to my green outfit. And again, the lighting of this will look different because I have um, messed it up a little bit in game itself. So I've got this cool Whoops. custom PNG of my own skin holding a grenade launcher and I'll up the exposure and vibrance. It would look different if I did have good lighting. It wouldn't be as dark on the shirt. Um, but it still passes as like a decent... That's probably too much on the hue. So just adjusting this hue and saturation. And then I'll probably zoom it in a little bit. You want to take up about half of the thumbnail. And then so from there, what you want to do is you want to like go in game. Uh, so I'm in game right now. And I just want to find like a cool shot like over here i want to get more mountainous see i got shadows on for this Turn shadows off i like to go for like mainly uh sky but we'll see all righty back into our overlay gonna do that chuck that down a notch expand this over because it is still smaller i don't want the rocks in there too much uh it's got cut a little bit so I'll expand it expand it expand it get rid of that Alrighty, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna flip it because I want the rock on my side, on the opposite side. And you can experiment with this. I'd like to initially up the color there, up the hue and the saturation. 
Then you see my elf's looking really dark right now. Again, that is mainly due to the lighting. Like if you miss that perfect ring, then you miss the good uh, exposure and saturation settings. And then honestly, now we need to make a little box with the uh, grenade launcher. We just say it's back. I don't have the assets for that right now, but you can just grab them, make them yourselves. It's a little it's back with a grenade launcher in a thing. And that's like a pretty basic one. Maybe you can check out a kill counter, stuff like that. That's like your entry level, like Fortnite thumbnail. He has a question here, how are you getting the image into Photoshop? So I pretty much just use print screen on my HyperX ducky keyboard. That's function and F11. No, function and print screen, uh, the PRTSC key. Uh, I do that and then I go into Photoshop and I hit, hit control V. Whenever you print screen something, it's on your clipboard and you can paste it into Photoshop. That's how I do it, which is- By the way, that keyboard looks, oh, that's so good. Like the thumbnail guys is your foot in the door. And as I'm on my YouTube, I'm gonna just go Lachlan Fortnite. I'm gonna type it in on YouTube here and I'm gonna try and pick an older kind of thumbnail that really did have this. So this, this thumbnail right here, all made within replay mode. This winning with only zombie loot. Those are all assets taken from the game and made into that. Same with this, tempting the Fortnite troll run. That one was made with Blender. This one's made with Blender. This one made with Blender. This one, all made within Fortnite. This one here. So I took the replay shot of a Skull Trooper dying. There's a lot of things you can do within Fortnite to make a nice thumbnail. Like this right here, all done within replay mode. Even screenshots from videos sometimes are, are not even a bad idea. Boomer, let's talk titles. Oh, titles, that's a different Titles, thing. titles. I'm on McCreamy's <laughs> page right now. I'm just like analyzing it for everyone. See how, like, he goes for this very simplistic title is exactly what you think. Breaking a Fortnite world record. You're like, oh, what's that? Let's click it. Oh, that looks weird. He's a lump. I'll click into that. Something that like makes you think, what is that? Let's jump in there. Let's see what it is. The shorter, like it doesn't have to necessarily be like the shortest title in the word, but the shorter normally the better because it's like you want to catch someone's attention quick. I would yep. say one thing I noticed on a lot of new channels is people trying to go a little too over into detail exactly what the video is. They're getting like too ambitious with it where instead you don't want to clickbait, but you know, you want to, like like you said, like your channel's a great example. McCreamy's another great example. I mean, you know, just kind of like telling people what it is. Like my first 50 bomb in Fortnite, one of McCreamy's videos. It's like, ooh, that tells you what it is. It's fun. It's little words, but yeah, good. No, exactly. Straight to the point, straight in. Uh, screenshots from my Xbox to my laptop. Oh, that's hard. This was, yeah, mainly talking about complete PC. I think some consoles have share clips. Yeah, you can, uh, you know, like consoles normally have an ability to share to PC. I know Xbox has a website, actually. You can go get your replay shots. And PlayStation has a button on the controller. You go to the share factory and actually edit stuff within the console or put it onto your PC through that. Uh, yeah. Also, capture cards go through there. Plug it right into your PC. Uh, how do we make thumbnails on YouTube when you play on Fortnite on mobile because there's no replay mode? Okay, that is a hard question because of the way Fortnite looks on mobile, I don't even know if you want to make mobile thumbnails. De uh, well, depending on how good your phone is, there is some photo editing software online. And correct. there's also a lot of normally pretty dynamic poses of characters available in PNG form to download off of like Fortnite wiki websites and that kind of stuff. So. Yeah. Getting a decent screenshot of Fortnite gameplay, downloading a couple of those PNGs, and using a free editing software on your phone, you could probably come up with something pretty decent. That's gonna do for the HyperX Crash Course. A massive shout out to HyperX for making this all happen. Best headsets in the market and best gear. Of course, hashtag ad. And uh, love everything they are making and looking forward to what else they've got coming.